I think to myself, I'm like, okay, so now, if I'm on a timeline of linear, which they say goes this way, and my timeline, I arrive in 1978, okay, here we are. Around 1982, I have significant contact with some department in human in order to uh, advise and figure out what's going on. They advise uh, that there's been several things they don't know where to, I should contact because they know that they already know that there's been breaches in security and that they're just, they're not planning on stopping and they're just going to keep going and they don't know what to do. Wow, adults, that's really comforting. So, like, I'm only three or four. I'm just kind of on listening mode to try to figure out where the fuck you all are. I mean, I could work through about a thousand different scenarios, but let's put it this way. If I'm here at 1978, if you by 1950s 19 to 1970s, if you were rocketing to the moon by, um, by um, radio wave um, and signal to control from space because that's where you all said you were at with that whole Houston we have a problem right I have a fucking bigger problem when I arrive but whatever so now that's only like let's see theoretically in actuality that's 1950s to 1970s I'm here I'm eight years later now if you have these shit bags uh, that you're flying around and you're floating out on yachts with big cannons, right? Okay. So if they're, say, building networks and they're, like, I know in, like, arid land, uh, they say, like, these things in Far East, they say things like, well, no, we're going to carry this forward. We're carrying this forward. We're ca what are you carrying forward? Are you carrying the dangerous plot and game? Are you carrying forward the people? And like, it looks like they had a funeral over here, but then we weaved in over here. Cause like they're in like, I mean, there's different levels of like, oh shit. And like, I mean, if we're talking like stupid, like I could maybe get through to like Lou of a rocket ship with some, uh, like, you know, like CB radio. I mean, it goes from one long haul on the ground to some other truck or somewhere on the long road of like 3,000 miles coast to coast or 6,000 miles, whatever it is, coast to coast and like nobody gives a shit America. Right, got it. Okay, so, and then they got one of those like CB radios from something in a Houston, Texas instrument up to like, they said they landed on the moon. Great. So we got vertical lift. We got horizontal idiots speaking on short wave, ra wave radio. Great. Okay. So now I use the same system in order to keep the human's biology safe. Right. Okay. So now they confirmed for me in 1980-something they had a uh, MIT land campus. And they had a West Coast and an East Coast. Great. Okay, so now we have two of those. Any idea what the other friendly whatevers that keep carrying shit forward and forgetting to tell the other half of the world what they're up to? Anybody like to find, figure out how many they have? And who allowed, like, DeVry uh, technology? I mean, like, are you guys talking, like, Arcadia, like, game? Or are you talking, like, Kruger National Park on the Serengeti 
with like actual rhinoceroses and elephants and like game preserve like the extinctable animals um like like that kind of game i mean the other ones are extinctable as well but whatever um okay so here's my question we've got a r and then it's cade uh, all right so now um the thing is is that when you draft architectural plans um when you're actually like an architect and like you gotta go to school for it or whatever like they used to draw it by hand so did those really like handsome well-dressed rocket scientists when they went to school and did everything by a pen and by paper in America, um, trying and hoping, like, you know, that their kids, whatever. So now with their only two schools, one on the East Coast, one on the West Coast, right? One Berkeley, California, and God only knows where the fuck they hid the one on the West, on the East Coast, because I think that was under debate. I'm like, now how would it be under debate if there's only one? Is it the one in New York, like the FIT up there? Or are you hiding shit down in Florida or somewhere in between? I'm just curious. Right. Okay. So nobody wanted to answer that. So now this fun word right here is called CAD. That's the architectural drawing software that they now issue standard to any piece of shit that has enough money to go to like a... I graduated high school and now I'm going to like a technical school or a trade school. Uh, I thought we like you, I thought like a trade school, T R A D E, would be like, uh, like a mechanic for home heating and putting wiring in. But we weren't doing any artificial light machines, like no television or monitor of any kind. And then you say the word monitor, and it's like, wait, are you talking like an oversight committee monitor? Or, yeah, see, they play around with these words, which is why we don't let the venereal disease children in the eye, we don't let them travel, <laughs> not by boat, not by plane, not by anything. But what you did was between, uh, like, uh, when you started commercial air flight, right, yeah, you started letting the criminal children move, then the yachts out in the Acht territory were having problems with where their land forces were going to be stationed and based, and why are we mixing this in with that? It's not going to work out well. This is going against the other thing. Right. Why is it so messy and why are none of you able to accomplish anything that's required? I'm just curious. It's, why are there so many of you then? Um, I mean, I know at one point you have to have numbers, but when it gets to a point of, I mean, like, uh, isn't that on like a Mickey sticker club? Like, she can't, you right? I mean, did the Asian kids take over all the quantum analysis? Like, you can't even run it on paper anymore? Um... So I don't know how CAD got out, but usually Arcadia, like an arcade, was the first in the 1980s video games where they would go, they'd put quarters in the machine, you'd play like Pac-Man, Donkey Kong, whatever. Um, I never went, but I saw it on the movies. Um, let's think about this. And then they started with the home, in-home consoles, uh, with not consult consoles c-o-n-s-o-l-e-s -E which is kind of like a cable box c-a-b-l-e-b-o-x uh that has the individual games so now i'm just curious that's one level uh the tv and the networks are one level but then you have the equipment for now the cgi you have the laboratories. Like, do you even control these anymore? Or are they just, once they get one of those magical suits that they made the Lord of the Rings with, with all the sensors on it for the human skin, like, they weren't allowed to build utility to then hop up their breakthrough science skill because you realize they're into interdimensional. And I know that they make it for a CGI movie like Avatar, but... 
it is the exact same thing that keeps your humans safe and them from just <laughs> popping into your home like that without permission. So now, I mean, like, you're only always, like, one step away from really scary science. How did all of these things, and who's in charge of policing them? 